In this video, I want to talk about the shifting the burden archetype. This archetype is a couple of balancing loops interacting in such a way that given a particular situation, there is a symptomatic solution, which is quick and dirty and doesn't require too many resources. And then there is a fundamental solution, which typically takes longer and more resources to implement, though produces a longer term solution to the situation. And the nasty aspect of, of this particular set of interactions is that, that if you implement the symptomatic solution, it tends to develop a side effect that makes it more difficult to actually implement the fundamental solution. So by taking the, the easy road makes it more difficult to implement the longer term solution um, and you get yourself in trouble and end up having to fix the problem over and over and over again because you've simply treated the symptoms to the problem as opposed to solving the problem. If we go ahead and look at this as a as a stock and flow simulation model, here is the the problem which is continually developed by an inflow and the symptomatic solution simply relieves the problem symptom but the fundamental solution if developed actually removes the problem cause and implementing the symptomatic solution results in the development of a side effect which uh, impacts the development of the fundamental solution and here we've added a number of um, flow control variables just to make it easier to adjust the parameters in the model and run it. Now if we run this with no fundamental solution and simply continue to implement the symptomatic solution, it shows that, that the problem develops, we implement the symptomatic solution which resolves the problem, but the problem develops again, so we implement the symptomatic solution, and we simply continue to solve the same problem over and over and over again. Sound familiar? Um, I think we do that a lot. If we go ahead and begin to implement the fundamental solution, that's the, the blue line, you notice that, that the first time we implement the symptomatic solution to take care of the situation, but the fundamental solution is developing so that there's a longer term between the reoccurrence and as that's happening, the fundamental solution is developing so that once we implement it, we take the symptomatic solution and the fundamental solution has come online and then the problem is simply resolved and doesn't happen again. The difficulty I said about this is the development of the side effect so that if you are slow on developing the fundamental solution and you give the side effect time to develop, if you notice the side effect running in the, in the grass down here as it's developing, it in fact ends up depressing the development of the fundamental solution so if I ran this out to a longer period, you would see that the problem does in fact occur over and over again and, and has to be uh, dealt with repeatedly because of the side effect that showed up. The, the strategy for dealing with this situation is first reeling, realizing the structure that, that you're faced with and the realization that if you simply implement the symptomatic solution, you will have to continue to implement that over and over and over again. Though typically for the case of expediency and survival, you often have to implement the symptomatic solution at the same time you're implementing the fundamental solution. If, if you have a leak in the boat, you need to bail so that the boat doesn't sink at the same time that you should be trying to figure out how to fix the leak so that you end up doing 
the symptomatic solution at the same time that you're doing the fundamental solution. But if you if it's a slow leak and the water develop builds up over time, so well there's not too much water, but I can bail it out of the boat, and then I don't have then I don't have to implement the fundamental solution because the leak isn't bothering me, and then a week later I have to bail the water out again, and a week later I do it again, and continuing to do that simply impedes the necessity of developing the fundamental solution, which is to fix the leak. So um, I would encourage you to go ahead and access this model and alter the the four control variables to develop a sense of, of how this, this set of relationships interacts in the way that the model behaves. And hope you found this interesting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.